Condolences gonna go out to y'all or whatever. And then, yo, man, listen, man, we gotta stop. We gotta stop with the senseless shootings and shit, man. You know what I mean? It slowed down a little bit, but it's still going on and taking place. We really have to slow down and stop with this nonsense, man. I ain't going into nobody's case. No one case in particular. I'm talking about universally, man. Do y'all realize that they're taking us? I'm gonna say us, even though I'm retired, but <clears throat> I'm gonna say us, and they're making us the scapegoat. So if you're a part of a clique, if you're a part of a gang, yeah, you see the hair and all that, right? It's curly, it's matted down, but hey, I'm letting the hair grow out, man. You know what I mean? You know, because I can do that, you know what I mean? Handsome nigga, you know what I mean? But um, they're using us as a scapegoat now. You know what I'm saying? They're using us as a scapegoat now. So they're going to start taking <clears throat> even COVID-19. All the losses they took through COVID-19, they basically going to make gangs the scapegoat, man. Anything taking place, if they can get you and put you in a party of five and prove that you are part of that party of five, they're going to start creating indictments. The bad part about it is that indictment is going to fall under racketeering in the RICO law and innocent black men and women and children is going to start losing their freedom for the rest of the duration, for the rest of their life, for the duration, for the rest of their life through congregation. Even though we have a right to congregate, Remember what I said, we have a right to congregate, but they're going to start using racketeering laws and RICO laws to start imprisoning black teens, young black adults, men and women, in the name of gang. So you in the video, gang, 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 and it catch five of y'all saying it. They try, to, they try to pass a law where they can legally come scoop you all up and rush you off for the rest of your life, basically. Because 25, 30 years is the rest of your life. And these days and time, we got people catching heart attacks and strokes at 18 and 19. The food is so poor and bad. Below standard food that we get. I do it every day. I look at the food stand around here. Then I go to the Russian and the Jewish neighborhoods and that food fresh. So I buy my food and veggies over there. That's it, fresh. Apples bright red, tomatoes bright red, so red, them damn it look burgundy. You know what I'm saying? So I go over there and buy my food. I'm just telling you what it is. They're gonna start using us as a scapegoat to justify their personal legislation. Well, we, we took the games up the street. No, you're about to take a bunch of innocent kids up the street. What they're getting ready to start doing. Once again, they're getting ready to start oppressing the black race. When I say black, I'm talking about MS-13, all everybody. I'm talking about Mexican, Ecuadorian. They're getting ready to start sweeping this shit, which is their form of reinforcing gentrification. Because once you get all of us out, the strong heads, as they call us, the rebellious ones, out the way, it's nothing to go with little payout money to get our families to abandon and condemn the property that they worked so hard for their whole life. That they retired and spent most of their pension on just to get a, a structure to call the family home. And they're basically using the city. Because it's one thing to have a, 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 a gripe with a builder, a developer who invest in investment properties. But when they involve the city, they say, all right, well, 
We just did a survey, and even though it's been this way for 30 years, we found out that your house is sitting on an inch and a half of city land. So you know what they do? They backdate. For the last 30 years, you've been on an inch and a half of city land, so we're going to charge you a dollar, and a, a dollar and a quarter for every square inch that you that that you've been on, and they roll that shit back. When they roll and download that shit forward, you owe one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and unpaid taxes for land you can't even use. You know why? The shit only this big. The shit only this big, bro. But they found a way to calculate unpaid taxes off an inch of land because your fence, your gate is over a piece of land that's only about this wide. You can't, listen, you can't even put your sneaker on this shit. The shit about me flattening something up. The shit is this wide, a piece of land this wide. Oh, we got a technicality. What? I did this, I had set my survey out here. This much land belonged to the city. We got it. And they sit back and they roll that shit back to 1918 when the house was built. And even though you bought the house after that, you're still liable because you've been the owner for over seven years now. So now they roll that shit all the way back and come back and now you owe a hundred certain thousand. That's how the rappers lose all their property and shit. And you owe a hundred something thousand dollars in unclaimed land. Cause nobody's claiming that land. You can't see the shit. It's only a fucking crack. But they roll that shit back. And this is how they're taking black people property. Listen, you owe 175000 in back taxes what we'll do. If you sell, we'll incur those taxes and pay it for you. Here, we're going to give you $430,000 for your home. The house is valued at 1.6 online. Because you put a black gate around it and it raises the equity and the property value. But they found the loophole to press you and put you under pressure. How do you beat the city, bro? Don't you realize the city can slap a lien on your property and you can't even sell your shit and tell that fucking lien is heard? Did y'all know that? And this is how they reinforce gentrification. Oh, you ain't selling? No, nah, I'm not selling. You don't see they got houses, a nigga, a nigga sell his house in between two houses, and they'll slap a little skinny ass building up five stories. Five stories up, and it's like all private houses. But this one ass building sitting in between a whole residential block because they bought it and then went in between it and built it up. And you're like, yo, what the fuck? Where this building come from? Because they don't give a fuck about you, nigga. They don't care a fuck about your property. They don't care about your backyard. Once they buy that house right there, they going to squeeze that building up until it's touching your house. You know what that mean? That means they're disrupting the balance of your foundation. So after a while, you're going to see your house do this right here. And it's going to lean down. So now that you're walking, it's like you're walking sideways in your crib because now they, 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 they didn't um, 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 create an imbalance of the foundation. You have no choice but to sell now. Soon you sell, that's what they do. <sighs> Demo your shit and then build a twin building to that building alongside adjacent to that, say, adjacent to that property. And now they got another building. Until they just take the whole block and you turn around. What used to be a bunch of private houses is now a bunch of buildings. Little buildings, different shaped formats. They're taking some houses and they ain't even tearing it down. The brick houses, they ain't even tearing it down. They building structures on top of them. They tearing the roof off of them. Putting foundation bands in there. Going up three or four more stories. So now you're like, damn, how they do that? House? The shape is different. Because they just built on top of another house, bro. They're not playing. They're not playing. And because you have people like myself that's running around that understand 
the takeover. They call it gentrification. It's really it's a takeover. These people is taking over New York City. They're taking over Connecticut now. They're building in Connecticut. They're going upstate. They're taking over upstate. You know what I mean? They take it over, bro. And they push all of us back where we came from. Back down south. Back down south. This is Metropolis right here. They want Metropolis back. They want Metropolis back. So they're taking it by any means necessary. Hey, listen, you don't see people living in apartments. They'll buy a building. You in the apartment. Hey, listen, we're going to give you $30,000 to move. Some smart people are, 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 are willing to deal with them to get $100, $150,000 out of them. So when you move, you go somewhere to a little town, you buy you a house. That's why people are moving down to Connecticut, people moving to um, Delaware, places like that. And damn, that was my homegirl. She was fucked up. How the fuck she get that crib? Because they bought her out of her apartment. Her grandmother been in the apartment for 30 years. It was handed down to her mother. Her mother fell in love and married a nigga and moved to another state and gave her the apartment. The apartment's 60 years old. She only paying $175 a month for rent. They can't allow, they can't have that. So they'd rather give you $100,000 to get the fuck from around them and get out the way for the apartment. So now they get you out the way, now they can remodel the building or tear it down and rebuild inside the building. You dig what I'm saying? But it's all in the name of gentrification. I call it the takeover. You know what I'm saying? And I know, you know why? I had to get people out. Oh, you ain't paying your rent, this and that. They're sending us up in there to break the toilet. Well, you ain't have no toilet to use. See, like that, okay, once you have no toilet, that means it's unsanitary, unfit for you to be here. So when you go to court, my toilet don't work, snap a woman, but your honor ain't paid rent in six months. They wouldn't even let us in the apartment to fix the toilet. You know what the judge say? Oh, you're a squatter. And get you out of there. This is why they start coming up with squatters' rights. So that they can't do that no more. They can't break the toilet, break the lock. When you come home from prison, I came home in 2003. Nigga, I'm taking a bag. So, I, yeah, I was a nigga moving people out and all the rest of that shit. You know what I mean? I wasn't the one doing that, you know? Good morning. You know, whatever. I'm one of my neighbors. Right? I was the one doing all that. You know, not me by myself. I had a team of dudes, but we had bump hats of time. Boom, you on here this now? Hey, boy, we move somewhere over here. I tell you what, to help us maneuver this shit right here, then we get through, we go across the street to everyone. That was a bad. It was panning. Like we getting 18, 1900 a joint. We breaking bread. You know what I mean? See, I give you a true game. I don't give you a face that y'all can't look back and verify. All my shit verifiable. Not about me, about life. They have people. They call street teams that run down and will get a motherfucker out of a basement for a fee. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we need this apartment right here, whatever. We offer him a blah, blah, blah. He won't take the money. That's what I need you to do what? We're going to give you the 10 grand, get him up out of there. We run down and get him up out of there. We ain't know. We ain't know. We just a bunch of niggas getting to a bag. Nigga offer me 10 bands to move a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. I know better now. A nigga can't give me a motherfucking million dollars to do it now. Because I know better now. When I first can't hold you my shit right. I'm in shape. Jog and pop. Yo, come here for a minute. What boom, man? It's not, yo. You so and so, so and so right here. I heard a lot about you. Yo, listen, man. I'm getting to a bag. And when my son talked to me, my son heavy, icy. He looking nice. Yo, this is what we do to get a bag. Yo, fuck with the team, bro. That's it. Well, all right, cool. I went, I even put the smack that poke, 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 on rebellious tough guy. What? Poke, set up. Wake that nigga up. You know what I'm saying? But now I know better. See, you only responsible for what the fuck you know. I, now that I know better, they don't have a million dollars for me to do that shit. Because I realize it's all in the name of the takeover, gentrification. Once they get you out of that apartment, they can demo that building and rebuild and go up. And guess what? It feeds their family for the next 100, 200 years. Not our family. It's not helping our neighborhood. You know why? That money 
comes from our neighborhood, from your hand to their hand, and out of our neighborhood. It don't stay in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't doing nothing to help our neighborhood. In fact, it's not even our neighborhood no more. I'm sitting on one of the last blocks that's black owned. Everything on this block right here is black. All houses, private houses, everything on this block. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is all mixed in, scattered in. And the more they get us out of here, the more they build. You know what I'm saying? Come on. People pay $1,800 for a one-bedroom apartment, though. I usually pay $1,800 for a one-bedroom apartment. They just built a building on Linden Boulevard. Yo, it costs 6000 a month to live in one of them joints. Yeah, they got the basketball court, the pool, and all that shit, the gym, all that. Sky deck where you can have parties on the deck. But the thing is, they want $6,000 a month for this shit. You know what I mean? My son said, that's wild. Yeah, $6,000 a month here in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? I'm not knocking the nigga hustle, but it doesn't benefit us. And why are you doing, I swear, man, on Linden Boulevard, man. Linden, go, go to Linden. I think it's Linden between Beffitt and Rogers. Go over there, bro. One of the biggest buildings in Flappers right now. I swear. It's fly, it's a fly building. But 6000 a month, bro? Come on, bro. They know we can't pay that. So you know the building wasn't built for us? It wasn't built for us. You feel me? Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Hybrid. Hybrid.